migrants who were in legal limbo after reaching the American Shoal Lighthouse off of Sugarloaf Key, they've earned a reprieve. The majority of them will be sent back to Guantanamo Bay until a federal judge can make another ruling. Our own Hatzelvella has been working this story. He brings us the latest. We've seen their pictures, relatives worried sick, still not sure what will happen to these Cuban migrants. The Coast Guard confirming four of the 20 Cuban migrants were sent back to Bahia de Cabaña, a port about an hour east of Havana. Immigration officials did not find the four have fear of persecution. A decision those here in Miami question. The other four uh, might not have said the keywords, even though they probably have the same fears. The other 20 will be taken to our base in Guantanamo for further screening because according to the Coast Guard, they did show a credible fear of persecution. No records, there's no access as to what really happens out there. And that's why attorneys for the migrants want more access to their clients. They also want to see if the process on who stays and who goes is being conducted according to the law. The 24 migrants also now become possible witnesses to the internal investigation the Coast Guard launched after migrants, in an odd twist, put a message in a bottle where they allege mistreatment by the Coast Guard. The letter later found by a fisherman was verified by the Coast Guard and handed over to the attorneys representing the migrants. We're very happy that the 20 people will be given a chance to remain in freedom. And breaking just moments ago, the democracy movement telling us that the federal judge has denied their motions to have access to the migrants. That includes a motion for more discovery on all records and another motion to grant an extension on the case. There is going to be a hearing in August.